Okay, so now we're ready to take on the factory. We're going to head on straight in. We have a weapon in here that we need to pick up. I'm sure a lot of people will want to know. Excuse me, sir. That's what I like to do when we come in. So we're just going to take a seat behind the crane. And now, as this guy has cover and fire from its friend up there, we don't really want to be uh, sustaining any of that if we can help it. We'll do the same to this one. Excuse me, sir. I require your attention. It really does not want to hit, does it? Couldn't really go that far up. We're in a safe place to fight here, anyway. The thing likes to stand still, so... We can live with that. Here they are. Ah, let's go. Ouch. Excuse me. We have less of that. Uh, so yeah, that just makes things a little calmer for us. I don't think there's anything huge in this first bit, but... Well, just to satisfy myself, I need to, need to double check. And, um, I was reminded by someone on stream, and I can't remember the name now, it escapes me. I need to remember to break containers. That is going to be of importance, because it is going to be an advantage as we continue moving forward. Let me see if we can find any here as an, advan uh, as an example. Can't seem to see any. These, these might well be one. Just make sure you are dodging through these. Um, they'll often kind of seem to drop items. And I don't think they're like hidden on the ground. It seems to be like a drop chance. So just make sure you are breaking through these things. Um, otherwise, I'm missing out on loot we could otherwise be getting. And that is, well, might as well be illegal. It's so bad <laughs> to, pe to people in uh, in these games, right? So I just make sure we're breaking all this. I'd like to see at least one come here whilst we're talking about it. Apparently not. Uh, got a few more there, look. Uh, I believe soon we should get like a... It should be an ambush with a snake and... Normal enemy. Wow. <laughs> Maybe my engineering is too low. I'm not getting anywhere near the uh, drops that I have been used to getting. Two. Go sneak sneak. Oh, all aggroed. Last time I was overset that one on its own. Whoa. Well, that was close. Come on then. Fire axe person. Let's get you down. There's actually one in this barrel. I don't think this one counts as a as a random pickup in barrels. Um, up here is a module. Not a key, but um, an actual module that goes in. Can't remember which one. I'm pretty sure it's a module. Yes, lasting affliction. Find a key. Very nice. I don't want to miss that. I'm going off of memory right now. I've been terrible at writing notes all over again. People have been laughing at me because I've just been like playing, 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 and then going, oh no, I've forgotten everything we've done. Hopefully, familiarity will win. Pretty sure I know where everything is, so we're okay. Let's make sure we're doing this to everything. This make, really make me want more engineering because we're not getting enough drops out of this. <laughs> it's like, damn it! I missed my 1.5 multiplier, that's obviously going to be my next stat up. Seems to be the breakpoint where you just start getting loads of stuff. Ouch! I was not having very good sight there, was I? Hmm? There we go, that's you. Another one, that's the dust. We are getting a decent amount of drops there, which is nice. From enemies, anyway. That, uh, and there's the other half to the armor set we put on, which is rather nice. Just like it. 
I mean, yeah, yeah. Although the only problem with that one is it always covers the face in the uh, in the cutscenes, actually, so it kind of annoys me a little bit. Maybe we'll go with the the bike on. Oh, no, three endurance, that's fine. Oh, that's fine as well. I don't know, we'll, we'll see in the light, we'll see if that, whether or not that goes. It might be a bit brown. We have to go hatless. Yeah, it might be a bit brown. Let's go with the kind of navy dark blue. What? Is that still shining? I should just pick that up. You want to keep giving me loot? I'm going to keep picking it up. <laughs> that's uh, that's the way it goes. I really want one to drop now because this is going to look really bad. Excuse me, sirs, where are you? If one wants it, you. Come on then. Here you are. I'm not fighting two on one if I don't have to. Nope. Oh. Come on. What are you doing? Fine then. If that's what you want, you can have it that way. Ooh, parried me. That's close. Didn't attack back though. How uh, hesitant of you. Cool. Then come out here. And then just because it's funny, we're going to jump on this roof. You don't have to, really, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> it was just funny when I did it on uh, on the stream. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try and jump on there and uh, not slide down. And then I slid down anyway. So, here then. We can actually circumvent a bit of the game here. There's no reason to. We're going to open this shortcut here. So now, if you do need a rest, if you've taken too much damage, you can go back. I'm going to go this. Come on. Give me something. I need proof that it works, damn it. Um, that's also going to upgrade our healing. Probably means we should go back and do that now, but want to continue progressing forwards. Yeah, if you want to go like a quick way through here, um, a good thing that you can do is you can jump on here over this fence. And that's actually a bit of a shortcut if you want to use it. It actually allows us to open the real shortcut. Man, that hit hard. I got hit like a chump. Take a heal here. Before we go around that way, um, I feel like it's a good idea to clear the front first. So we're going to grab this. It should be a sneak. <laughs> four. Missed. Now I'm the four. What are you doing, silly sneak? It does be like one of those toy snakes that you kind of hold by the tail and it swings side to side, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, so here, I'd probably recommend coming up the steps first. We've got two lancers. I was going to call it a cannoneer, but we do actually know the name because it was the first boss. One's up here, there's actually one below us. Waiting in ambush, but we can not have to get ambushed if we come this way first. That's what we're going to do. Shoot down. Not there. Oh my gosh. It's a bit close. It's not that bit. It's that bit. <laughs> that, was, that was almost a bit of a mistake. <laughs> Weird when they just freeze. I can't tell if it's like jankiness or if it's been programmed in just because the way the game plays. I, I'm sure I'm sure it's intentional that sometimes they just kind of malfunction and stand there. But sometimes it looks just so off, but it's meant to be like it's like yeah. yeah I, I don't know if you're just getting away with it, but it it works for me. I'm not complaining, but it's funny. 
It's funny. Um, so it's, it's nothing this side. I don't think. Is there? Is there? Do I remember being, being something on the back end of there? No. So we want that. And now, now that we can reach from the side, let's go around. We want to go up here, so we do. And then we can come over this way. Uh, so this thing, I don't know why you would need to use the trick, but if you jump over this way, it immediately it immediately deagros from you. So, um, yeah, if you if you're panicking over this little axe guy, you have a you have an exit strategy if you. Need it. Down here is the flame. I think it's called the flame wheel. We've got an enemy on the way, so we need to be careful. What was in that bit now? I guess it's above us now. It's a bit tight in here. We shouldn't really be messing around with enemies in here. It's you. Here for flame wheel. This is a really cool looking parry weapon. Um, unfortunately, that's what it has going for it. Really cannot stand the moveset. Um, its effects are good. It has a ton of impact, like it's standard heavy, it can knock down some of the bigger enemies on its own, unupgraded. Um, so I'm sure if you can get used to using it properly, it can be absolutely devastating. But I just <laughs> I just could not get on with it. Could not get on with it. Uh, but the pack, like if you get the parry off, it knocks enemies down in its instant infliction of burn. So that is like high skill ceiling, but really damaging weapon. Over there, the steam pump. I we can to go jump to over this way, like that. so we don't have to go around all of this uh, platforming. We have to drop down anyway, but I like showing off that we can just uh, platform all over the place. It's real cool. Make sure we get all the other goodies before we leave up right there. And we're quite close to the mini boss for the factory now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do we want to do? Yeah, we'll do the extras in this video. This video will be a bit longer than the last one. That's fine. Nice links. Not had anything drop from a barrel since I said, "Hey, you should do this thing because uh, it'll drop loot." I promise. And then there's nothing there. Hopefully, something drops for you guys when you're going through. Uh, yes, that's the boss. Where are we at? So, yeah, it shouldn't take long. Uh, switch to the freeze. This is called the forger, which means uh, not only is freeze good on it, it's actually weak to ice. So uh, the same way we've gotten through all of the other bosses is actually even more effective here. Um, in fact, if you've upgraded your pistol at all, uh, this thing is going to just, well, I guess the opposite to melt. Um, but it's still kind of funny. So we can get in there for the double hit, switch back to the pistol. Get for that. Its moves do hurt, but it does like it does like a, has like a hammer move. Doesn't seem to want to do it right now. Ooh, ouch. Spreads fire everywhere. Take a quick. Okay. This is got it's got great reach. We're in a real small um, arena here. Don't worry, we are going to have to face these in pairs later. So get used to it. So yeah, that see that that'll spread um, heat affliction if you get too close to it. So be careful of that. Stop! Let me out! I'm stuck! Oh man, that's <laughs> such a good job we froze that there. I was really stuck there. Don't go in there. It's like you're stuck now. And you're in arena. <laughs> there we go. Unstable forger. Don't worry, we haven't faced any of the real bosses yet. I actually quite like the real bosses. Um, the last one I faced, which is the, I think it's like 
it's uh, Liberty City or something. It's, I, I thought it was really cool, actually. I'm quite looking forward to that one now. Again. Oh, ouch. Final strike. So just take quite a few bullets. So just bear that in mind when you when you're doing this, which is why um, I wanted to make sure we had a good amount of engineering costs. Uh, it just ensures that we basically never run out because we will get that mini dropping. And I'm, I'm probably going to put my last point into engineering now. I really want that 1.5 multiplier. It's still not 1.5 on the loot, is it? Mm. That's probably why I'm not getting much stuff dropping. But I really want to start. Pumping these. What is it per level round? Oh, we can get two levels. Eh, no, we can't. We can get one level. Okay, we're gonna do it now. Look, let me. I'm just gonna get it done because once it's done, it's out of the way. We can start enjoying having some better level up opportunity uh, prospects. Prospects. That's the word. There we go. Might even be worth running out to ten. Um, especially as I really like uh, inflicting. <laughs> <laughs> inflicted the afflictions. Um, probably run that out to five, and then yeah, it's done. We're good, we're good. Next point's going in agility, then. I really want the uh, immobilization to start rocking. So we've got a few things that we need to do here. There's, an, there's like a side path. It links to both sides. Uh, but I like to come this way to deal with it, because it brings us behind some of the enemies. You'll see shortly. I want to come on up these stairs. This. Oh, yeah. All right, so come a bit slowly here if you want to make, keep the uh, element of surprise, as it were. It's not letting me lock on. We're in, we're in literally stealth range right now. There we go. There we go. So the, see, this just saves us having to come the other way. You can see the way they're facing. It's not a bad little uh, amount of anima there as well, when you think about it, is it? Get a bit of law there. Got cool little tidbit, if you hold triangle whilst you're picking it up, it just automatically gets rid of it, so that's kind of useful. Get that there, the bronze and cast iron, which means should be able to take the weapon to the next level now. Um, do we have... Oh, we can actually upgrade a slot now. Yeah, we should definitely upgrade a slot to two. And then, yeah, we can... Oh, no, we just need one bronze iron. But the thing to know is in the boutique now, if we come over to the materials tab... Oh, no, we can't yet. I guess not yet. Oh, I think we need the cabinet... Uh, the... It's because we need the carriage key. That's why. That's why, because we need the carriage key. And we'll have access to be able to buying the, uh, the upgrade materials, which is going to make it to contest lots of different weapons. Nothing's dropped for me yet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really trying. This is effectively the objective for coming this way. To actually use it as well. Don't forget. Voila. That should work. You know, it's like, ah, oh, wait a minute, that's supposed to be moving. So now we have another ambush type situation here. It's not quite as bad as before. Getting on it anyways. Come here, you. Can't really run past it to try and take it on inside of here because there are other enemies, so we just need to be careful. So passing through. Anything at all? No. That boy out on the bridge. Didn't become 
fast enough. One of the good things about the uh, the quick and the, the quick bladed enemy, um, the quick bladed weapons is the uh, recovery time after the attacks is a lot better. So <laughs> this is why suddenly I'm like uh, terrible with the halberd because I've been using the blades in the streams all of a sudden and it's been like well interesting to say the least. But I do I do quite like how the game almost changes around you as you change weapons. It's real nice. you playing the game changes considerably. We have all eyes in mission module. That actually makes doing agility style right now pretty good. Now that I think about it, that lets us get out of here. So of course you can go all the way around that as many times as you want now. Uh, the flame you see right there, we'll actually be able to use that to get back up there later on if we want to. Um, that pretty much finishes the factory. We've got one left, one last thing to do realistically for this video, and that is just show you guys to trigger this. Ooh. Obviously, I'm going to skip through the um, cutscene anyways. Once we get up here. Um, this is one of the ones where we just need to do all of the different um, responses. Uh, this happens a few times. But once you've done all of the different responses, can we set this? There we go. We get to move on to the to the next bit. And we now have the carriage key, which means that we can fast travel. Now, unfortunately, we only have a choice of two places we can go realistically. Um, we can fast travel. We can actually fast travel back to the first zone, but it doesn't really let us do anything. So we have two choices to pick from, um, and one of them is definitely easier than the other. So that's the order we're going to do it in. So my recommendation to you, especially if you're going to go on ahead after this video, excuse me. My recommendation to you, well, wow, come on, is to go to La Cité. Oh no, wait! Why do I not have two available? I'm oh, sure I had two available before. Okay, I guess we're going to the city then. Maybe it's two later. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Maybe I've got something out of order. There's definitely going to be a point where we get to pick two areas, and uh, of those two, there's definitely an easy one. And I'll catch you guys again soon.